What's up guys? Here we are, another week at the Home Theater Hobbies, and this week we're talking about cord cutting. What is it? How do you do it? Is it even right for me? Let's get into it. Okay, cord cutting. What is it? Cord cutting is basically turning off your cable or satellite TV service because most people just feel like they spend too much money on it. Now to do that, once you do that, you realize, how do I get TV? Because I do want to know what's going on. Well, the first thing most people do is they get something like this. This is an HD antenna, so you can get all your local channels, your NBC, your Fox, your ABC, that sort of thing. But most people want more television than that. They want their ESPNs, their CNNs, their MSNBCs, your Fox News, whatever it is that you watch, you want that as well. So for that, you're gonna need a streaming media service. But to get a streaming media service, of course, you're going to need the internet and you'll probably need some sort of device, some sort of streaming media device. This is the Chromecast. Now for me, the home theater hobbyist, we actually decided to cut the cord several years ago. And when we did, the main option that was out there was called Sling TV. We enjoyed it. It was good. But eventually, probably about a year down the road, our cable company came back to us and said, hey, we can give you the same package as Sling TV gives you, basically. Um, and it'll be about the same cost. So we decided to go back to cable. Now, I will say this, the basic package was the same cost, but with taxes and fees, it was a little bit more expensive, but I digress. So next what happened was what always happens with cable, which is the bill went up and it went up about a month and a half ago. So I decided to look into streaming services again and because we're gonna cut the cord. When I did, I was pleasantly surprised at how many different services are out there and how much more they offer over the last time we did this. Now, these services benefit from a lot of things. One of the first things they benefit from is the fact that you can kind of choose your package based on the channels you actually watch. So you're not paying for a whole lot of channels that you don't even watch. If you watch the Food Network, choose a channel with that. If you watch Fox News, choose a channel with that. If you watch nothing but sports, you can choose channels that really are tailored to what you watch. The other benefits include the packages are typically cheaper than your cable or your satellite TV service. You can also cancel at any time and you typically can watch on your tablet, your smartphone, all of these different things because they have apps. So let's talk about a couple of services. First, we'll start with Sling TV. Sling TV offers a couple of different packages. They're Sling Orange and they're Sling Blue. They have different channels in these packages and you can do different add-ons for sports, kids, lifestyle, that sort of thing. The packages start at 20 bucks a month and these add-ons are about $5 a month. One of the things that Sling, one of the things that Sling has added since we were members was they added a cloud DVR. So for an extra $5 a month, you can have a cloud DVR, which records TV that you want to watch to watch it later. And of course, with a DVR, you can schedule a recording for the future. The other good benefit about Sling is they give you discounts on a lot of Roku devices. Right now, they're running a special on the Roku Express, Express where you can get that for free when you prepay for two months of service. Next, let's move on to Hulu with Live TV. Hulu is a service that many of us know about because they carry a lot of the seasons of network television. Well, they also now have a live TV option where you pay $39 a month and you can watch live TV and also the some of the more traditional Hulu content. With that live TV service, you can get 50 hours of cloud DVR. And you can also watch on all your devices, your Roku, your Apple TV, your Amazon Fire TV, that sort of thing. All you need is the Hulu with live TV app. Next, let's move on to PlayStation View. PlayStation View is intimidating at first because most people assume to get PlayStation View, I need a PlayStation. That's not actually true. PlayStation View has an app so you can access it on your Roku, your Amazon, your Fire TV, your computer, all of these different things, just like all the other services. Their plans start at $39.99 and go up from there. Some of the benefits of the PlayStation View include you can watch up to five streams at the same time. And if you have a PlayStation, you can do multi-view so you can watch multiple channels within the same window. Next, we'll talk about a fairly new entrant, and that's YouTube TV. YouTube TV is, again, another package where you can get something like 40 plus networks and you can watch them over the internet, just like everything else. The thing that sets YouTube apart is they actually allow you to have unlimited DVR storage and you can have an account with six people on it and they all have their own, free, uh, their own cloud DVR. YouTube TV plans start at $35 a month and you can get a complimentary Chromecast after you pay for your first month. Now, we've talked about the services. How do you actually get the content? Go online, you sign up for the service with your credit card number, you'll get a free trial. 
PlayStation View has a five day free trial while all the others have a seven day free trial. Then you get the app, you put it on your device and you just start watching TV. The quality from what we've seen so far is really good. We haven't decided on a service yet. I've actually got Mrs. Home Theater Hobbyist doing that research for us. She's been watching TV and I'm like, hey, you get to watch TV, just do it, right? Um, she's been watching TV and we're gonna decide here soon which service that we are gonna go with for our family. And again, the good news about these services is they're cheaper than cable. They, you can access multiple streams a lot of times at once. And they're actually pretty easy to use as long as you have a solid internet connection. We would tell you, you probably need to have at least five, probably more like 10 megabytes um, per second internet connection to make these services really work in your home. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. We'll talk to you next time.